what's up now so a lot of people are in debate in my comments and in general everybody opinion on the, these youtube streets right so to speak so people feel like hassan campbell this was all staged and he did not get shot that's their opinion, because in my opinion, I believe he really did get shot. Now, how bad it was, it was said that he was having surgery. He went into surgery, da da this and that. He's still at the hospital, whatever, whatever. I believe he really got shot. All right? Now, that's neither here or there with me because of the simple fact he didn't die. You see what I'm saying? So he's going to be all right. So we can pass that. We can pass that, whether you believe he was shot or not, right? This is the thing. <clears throat> the whole point. Because I didn't see the whole video at first, but now that I have seen the whole video, he was mad about Cassie and this settlement. So it was said that the way she, the, the reason why she settled it, because it was a civil lawsuit. And I think criminally, she couldn't, get them criminal criminally all right i think they had expired some shit like that all right but she could get monetary gain all right so i'm not a lawyer so i just put it a b and c for your ass you know what i'm saying if you know you know you see what i'm saying so basically she couldn't get them criminally but she could get them money wise all right uh so that's why they went like that but this is the thing hassan campbell and, and look, if you know about Hassan Campbell and his story, then you, I don't have to go all the way in depth with that. He claims he is an alleged victim, sort of like Cassie, right? He's mad at his, I'm taking it as, <clears throat> he's mad at his neighborhood, his old stumping grounds or whatever, because they are not taking up for him. When he accuses African Bambada of all these allegations. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> um, what he doesn't <clears throat> understand is, or he didn't get the memo, that this happened to you, allegedly. So, this is something you have to put closure to your damn self. You know what I'm saying? You can't expect others to what? Be on the same train as you. Be on board with you about something that you say happened to you and all the stories he have said whether it's true or not there was one particular thing that stands out that at one particular time he was recruiting young boys to africa bambata allegedly you see what i'm saying now now he said that now this is out his own damn mouth he has confirmed that African Bambada had never penetrated him. Not in his mouth and nowhere else, you see. But he also says, right after that, that what he would do was African Bambada allegedly would grease up his balls. Wait a minute, pause. African Bambada would grease up his balls. Now, I don't know if he meant African Bambada greased up his own balls, huh? Or African Bambada greased up both of their balls. Because see, what he had did was he would thigh him. So, oh, uh, shit. Okay. Y'all get it, right? You get it, right? He, he, he would just thigh him. In and out the man thighs. And you mean tell me now one time it didn't slip into the, uh, to the Duke shoot? I'm just saying. Now, this man is hurt, right? Now, he wants something to happen to him. So, it's only two options. Either you going to, because he never took him to court and shit. So, either you going to try to get him legally, or you going to get him illegally. You see what I'm saying? Bottom line. You feel me? Um, There's no need to go out like how Sean Campbell did and raise hell to some apartments first of all don't nobody give a damn about what happened to you see so you have to find people that give a damn you know that can help you put closure to this 
You know what I'm saying? And like he said, Hassan said, hey, I was never asking for no money, no 50 million, no 30 million. I wanted justice. Okay, that's what you wanted. Now, Cassie, she wanted the money, man. It, some people say it was a money grab. But it also can be argued that maybe about time she had the boss to actually come out and say something, that criminal part had expired. And the civil part was still good for her to get money off the shit. All right? So, you know, whatever, whatever. People call it a money grab, whatever. I kind of feel like that too, but it's neither here or there because that shit right there has nothing to do with Hassan. You had no dealings with P. Diddy. So I can see if he had dealings with P. Diddy, he's like, why would you do that? You know what I'm saying? We need him in jail. No, P. Diddy ain't got shit to do with you. Although P. Diddy is a disgusting human being, all right? Um, he's a monster, so to speak, right? But that's the thing. Hassan Campbell is looking for we the people to take up for him, but no, 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 no. You have to take up for yourself. You know what I'm saying? But you can't have a, a people were calling a meltdown. You can't have a midlife crisis type of meltdown type of shit. And get irate and then in an outrage and threatening people as if, you know what I'm saying? They did something to you. They did nothing to you. They want you to shut up about it because we don't see you put no action into it for real. You just doing this. I'm just saying. You would have thought, you would think a man that that's fucking hurt would have risked it all and, 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 and got his abuser right up off the earth, face of this earth. I'm just saying. It is what it is. But if you're not going to do that, and you're not going to take him to court and, you know, really, really fight this shit, then if you're not going to do that, right, then then you shouldn't be out here, you know, out doing all this outrage shit. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. And it makes you look crazy. You know what I'm saying? Now people want to know, did you really get shot? He was too calm. He couldn't drive himself to the hospital. Where is it? <laughs> People, I don't, I don't understand people because there it's been people on Facebook Live that have got shot and drove themselves to the hospital, huh? People in real life have done that. It's not like it's not possible for you to drive your ass to the hospital, depending on where you got shot. So if you saying a person got shot in their hand, they they're not able to drive themselves to the hospital. A certain part in your arm, some people can still drive themselves to the hospital. Um, it just depends, because if you, un look, when somebody's adrenaline is pumping like that, sometimes they could be in a shootout and don't even know they shot yet till they actually get in the car or something of that nature. And then they're like, damn, I'm hit. You know what I'm saying? So it's, you know, it, it's just, it's iffy, right? But like I said, I believe the man got shot. You feel me? I don't know where he got shot at and how bad it is, but evidently he had to get the bullet out because he had to have surgery, all right? So... That's all alleged if he got shot or not. Who cares, right? Well, I just happy he didn't die. How about that, right? Um, so yeah, Hassan Campbell, yeah, he's sort of making a fool out of himself because he's not going about this the right, correct way. You know what I'm saying? You if that's the case, why didn't you go in front of African Ben by the house? And did all that shit. I'm just saying, why go back to your old neighborhood, bro, clowning like that? Huh? Why would you go back to your old stuffing grounds clowning like that? That shit crazy. Like, I would have went in front of the boy house, the man house or some shit. Where he work at or something. You know what I'm saying? Just It, it just wasn't making sense, people. But, uh, so hopefully Hassan is okay and whatnot. Um, I'm pretty sure he gonna have a response for all this he's seeing on the internet. You know what I'm saying? And people are gonna be waiting. They, they you know, even though people claim they don't like how sign they are waiting whether it's for content or whatever they want to make the excuse up for why they waiting on him to say something but nevertheless they are waiting and i am too i am waiting to see what he got to say after this because damn you know what i'm saying i want to know what the hell's going on with your boy because like you know how sign camel be having bags 
you know, under his eyes. But these bags we seen in the video, can't miss them. It's as if the man don't sleep. It's as if every time he closes his eyes, he sees African Ben Bonner. I think the memories of that shit is haunting the hell out of him, man. Hunting the hell out of him. And you got to remember, he was a child when this shit was going on. But then it kept going on, and people will argue the fact that, hey, yeah, it started young, but then you was old enough to know that, hey, you ain't got old enough to know, hey, I won't do this shit. So then it makes you wonder, what was you liking this shit at first? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, that's just like the Cassie shit. People are strange, all right? And um, so... Yeah, people. So, what y'all think about this shit? You know what I'm saying? Hassan Campbell and his midlife crisis type ass shit not going not going the right way about certain things. You know what I'm saying? You doing shit loosely, bruh. Loosely. You see what I'm saying? He's doing shit too loosely. And he's moving funny. You feel me? And, and, and it's just crazy. It's sad. Because you can tell he hurt now. And he wants justice. But you can't go out like a crazy man and be like, you want justice. Nobody's going to even have, nobody's going to make the time to hear you out. Now, his story has never changed, though. I'm not saying he lying about what have, has happened to him in his, in his life. But it is overtaking him. It's, it's influencing his life to the point where he's doing shit like we just seen. All right? Getting shot on live and shit or whatever the fuck. You hear me? Um, I feel bad for him a little bit, though. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I would I would have, you know, if I got an issue with you, I'm going to you. I'm not, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do no shit like he did. You feel me? I'm. I, I, you better off being in front of the man's house and shit like that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, he gonna call the police on you. But at least, you know, the police may have your back because you are saying what you're saying and shit like this. But nevertheless, I would be doing shit like that. Or his ass would just have to get off the face of the earth because I can't take it no more. I can't take you in the same pace, uh, space as me. I feel sorry for him, man, because cause shit like that, you be done harmed yourself. Or you get harmed. You know what I mean? But but we the people, not the enemy. It is African Bambada. So he says. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, people. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that in the commentaries. Like I said, in my opinion, I feel like the man really did get shot. Um, But he's just going about things all wrong and i don't think the man is eating properly i don't think he's drinking fluids properly i, I don't think he's sleeping he's damn sure ain't getting no sleep and this shit is hunting him you know i couldn't imagine no shit like that uh without putting closure to this shit whether i had to put it closure to it my damn self you know what i'm saying something would have to give because the man is out here tripping out all right over this shit so you know y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the commentaries Messy.